What's up everybody, Dozer03 here, and I am going to teach you how to get your Xbox 360 to play on your Xbox One, or your PlayStation 4, they both work, or your PlayStation 3, or anything else with an HDMI cable, they all work. So, basically, excuse the mess that is my room at the moment, there's my AP Chem work, if you guys don't believe me that I've actually been doing it. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find, actually wrong area, we don't need to go to the actual console, what we need to do is we need to find it on my TV. Now, that's my one. Basically guys, just try to find it on your TV. I'm sorry that this is taking so long. I believe this goes to my Xbox One or my 360. Sorry about that, Jesus. Anyway, so you take your HDMI cable from your other console and you're gonna wanna go to the back of your one. And as you can hopefully see here, I'm trying to give you guys a view, my TV's sandwiching it. You're going to want to put your HDMI cable into the 2TV slot. Basically as if you're hooking up your cable box. Now I'm going to turn both consoles on because I don't know exactly which HDMI I just plugged in. So, basically now that you've plugged in the HDMI cable into your console, all you should have to do is go and watch TV. I gotta find it. Now I never watch TV on this thing. Live TV, there we go. Live TV, watch now. So I'm gonna have to calibrate my cable box, in air quotes. This is a really quick video because I didn't play any games today. The Destiny video was from yesterday, so. There we go, we have gotten our PlayStation 4 running on our Xbox One. Don't believe me, there you go. Seeing all my friends online. PlayStation, so you want to go over here, you're going to want to grab your controller for your PlayStation or 360. And there you go, you can actually do that. Go into MLB The Show. So now I am running my PlayStation 4 through my Xbox One. I honestly think this is one of the coolest little hacks, if you will, of the console. Excuse my room for being a mess as always, but I want to show you guys that this runs. So I think this is really cool. If you didn't know how to do it, well now you know. Again, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your console, well your TV really, you're going to go to your TV, pull out the console you want to play on your One's HDMI cable, and plug it into your Xbox One in the satellite box HDMI slot. And that'll let you play whatever you want on your One. I'm probably going to put my 360 on the One. As I just want to keep PlayStation as its own thing. And there you go. It is running. It's fully functional. And now you don't have to switch to HDMI. You don't have to switch your, you know, output and input sources when you want to play a different game. And it runs perfectly fine. The Rogue Rat and I did it today with the Xbox 360. And there was no drop in frame rate or frame weight, frame rate or lagging. And we played Sonic. And if Sonic didn't have frame rate drops or anything this game should be fine too so you know you can go into your game and everything works as if you're playing on its normal console so if there's any other if I ever find any other random tips or tricks that maybe not everybody knows about maybe I'll do other videos so there you go that is how you play in Xbox 360 or PlayStation 4 Wii U whatever you want it to be on the Xbox One. And when you turn off your console, it's as if I turned off the cable box. So let's give this a second to shut off. While we're waiting, we can always just snap menus in the one because that works now. So yeah, see your TV signal was lost. So get out of here and there you go. So I'm gonna pin that to home cause I'm probably gonna be using that a lot. I'm actually going to run my 360 through the one from now on. So there you go, guys. That is a full tutorial of how to run another console through your Xbox One. I only figured this out rather recently. So if you don't know about it or you just figured it out, well, there you go. I hope you guys enjoy that little tip just to make life a little easier. You don't have to switch between inputs and outputs. I can snap TV or... Well, I actually can't do that. I can snap YouTube or the media player while I'm playing 
Madden 10 or something random. Although, I will tell you now, the Rogue Grunt already tested it. It does not broadcast because technically the console reads you as watching TV, not playing a game. So you can't broadcast PS4 or any other console through your one. That does not work. Twitch doesn't get that. But I think that's just a fun little thing you can do to make life a little quicker and easier. So guys, until next time, oh, going to the bottom, Dozer 03, signing out.